Shopping in Paris. Which lady wouldn't dream of it? Shopping in Paris for men? Yes, it's possible. For many years, the Retromobile, one of Europe's oldest classic car shows, opens all opportunities to classic car lovers for strolling, judging, dreaming, and if the wallet allows it, for shopping. Around 120,000 visitors have flocked in five days to the Retromobile. In two large halls, dealers, clubs and manufacturers presented their exhibitions. Among them, true rarities including Ferrari, Porsche or Bugatti. The Retromobile stands especially for the numerous special exhibitions, from the steam engine over the ancestry of automotive history up to the rare prototypes an entertaining program was offered. Already at the beginning of the Great Hall of the Vehicles, the Beaulieu Museum presented unique pieces from the time when record attempts stood on the daily automotive schedule, including a powerful Dirac with a V8 motor from 1905, a Napier from 1903, and right next to it, the Fiat S76, built in 1911, which is known as the Monster of Turin. With only four cylinders, it has a capacity of 30 liters and a total power of 300 horsepower. Several demonstration drives outside the building proved that the bullet made honor to its name, even if it could not reach the 200 kilometers an hour. Nice for visitors, a test drive on one of the over 100 year old vehicles. Certainly an experience of a special kind, because the Tuff Tuffs, as they are named in French, are very original in their function. Since 2012, Julia de Baldanza is involved in vintage racing. Her successes are considerably and racing at Goodwood, Le Mans Historic, Monaco Historic Grand Prix or the Shell Ferrari Historic Challenge, her name can always be found under the first three class winners. In a special exhibition called Une Femme, Une Collection, A Woman, A Collection, some of her collection vehicles are presented to the audience. Including the Fraser Nash Le Mans Coupé, once owned by Kitty Maurice, a McLaren M3A and a Maserati A6 GCM, but also vehicles such as a Bugatti 35P driven earlier by Elizabeth Junek and the Vassin C14 Chartres belong to the collection. Recently, Baldanza bought one of the few Volkswagen XL1. From the pre-war era, we noticed a rear Ballot 2 LS built in 1921. A special exhibition which could be seen with a smile were some of the over 50 years old model studies of the future car from the 1960s backwards. Seemingly becoming alive from the comic series The Jetsons was the rhomboid ball with the diagonal arranged wheel by Jean-Pierre Pontieu, designed in 1968. Two of the vehicles were drawn by Philippe Charbonneau, a French designer who, among other things, designed some delays, the Renault R8, the Dauphine and the Renault 16. Many of his studies were to be seen at this year's Retromobile. So the Delahaye 235, a Charbonneau promotion car built on a Citroën 2CV, a Renault R16 notchback variant and in special the event bus Piatti Marconi. 
Charbonneau built the now over 70 years old Vimeel for a fellow racing driver. It should develop optimal aerodynamics. The front of the Samson he designed is almost a reminiscent of a Pegaso. In this total exhibition about visions of the future, the highlight was the PFX designed by Pininfarina Farina in 1960, with a streamlined body and two far-raised fins in the rear. A quick look back to the Retromobile 2015. Art Coyal auctioned the Ballon collection. One of the vehicles, a Talbo Largo T26 record car, was to marvel at this year's fair in a state of restoration. Next to it, a witness of the French bodybuilding art, the sheet metal dress of an elegant Bugatti in a raw format. Le Mans belongs to France and racing. Racing vehicles could be seen almost at every corner on this year's Retromobile. The Automobile Club of the West presented special witnesses of the Le Mans history, starting off with an early Chenard Walker, a race car from 1925. Right behind, a Ferrari. A very dynamic appearance has the Deutsche Bonnet. But the prototype of the Ferrari Dino received the most attention. In his glance, the Porsche 907 Carrera nearly got lost. And again, racing cars. Even Renault presented several examples of the French racing history, starting with the monstrous Renault 40CV or the early Rally Monte Carlo car. Of course, the crowd puller was a record car, and the numerous Alpine versions, led by the Renault 4CV R1063. Surely the French brands took the largest part on the presentations. Peugeot celebrated the 50th anniversary of the 204. Citroën showed a Citroën Traction Avant 11B and the evolution of the Mihari up to the current prototype. But the international manufacturers also showed their flag. Honda exhibited for the 50th birthday of one in Europe's very rarely seen vehicles, the S800, and Porsche presented a wide range of their history. We didn't buy a classic car and still wanted to take a small souvenir or spare part back home was in good hands in the hall for the spare parts, books or model vehicles. Many traders had what their heart desires. From literature over bonnet figures up to finely crafted dioramas.